today we're going to start off with, no, not a sprint. It's an activity called get to the next 10. So what happens is I'm going to give you a number and you're going to tell me that number plus blank equals the next complete group of 10. So for example, if I said 9, you would say plus 1 is 10. If I say 59, you would say plus 1 is 10. All right, you ready? Okay, so next we have, let's go ahead. So 5 plus 5 is 10, good. 65 plus 5 is 70, good. That's the next group of 10, good, good, good. All right, 8 plus 2 is 10, good, um, 78 plus 2 is 80, another complete group of 10, 80 is 8 tenths, those are the same, okay, uh, a couple more, 7. Plus 3 is 10. Okay, how about 87? Plus 3 is 90. 9 tens is the next complete group of tens. Excellent. What about 6? Plus 4 is 10. And last one, 96. Plus 4 is 100, or 10 tens. Great job. Great job. <laughs> that was a fun activity. I like that. Let's go ahead and move into our application problem, which is always in your book. You didn't see that. Good thing you didn't see that. It's in your learn book on page number 61. I have to block you from seeing that. Let me write that up here for you. It's on page number 61. That's where it is, page number 61, okay? In your learn book, in your learn book, and it reads, Ben sharpened five pencils. He has eight more unsharpened pencils than sharpened pencils. How many unsharpened pencils does Ben have? I don't know, go ahead and figure it out. Okay, so when we left off, Ben had sharpened five pencils, and he had eight unsharpened pencils. We wanted to know, no, he had eight more unsharpened pencils, I'm sorry. We wanted to know how many unsharpened pencils does Ben have, and I used my tape diagram strategy to combine the known number of sharpened and the additional eight that we were aware of as unsharpened to find the missing number to be that Ben has 13 unsharpened pencils. Ben has 13 unsharpened pencils. All right, so now we are ready to get into what we're working on today, and that is we're adding. We are adding, so four, like say they had 40 and 30 is, well that's seven groups of 10, so that's 70, right? But what if I had 45 and 30? Well, it would still be all these tens, but I still have five ones, so it would be 75, good. Now you can do it like that, or you can count by, you can go up counting by tens, 45, 55, 65, 70, not starting at 10, but starting at 45, 10 more, 10 more, 10 more, until we get up 30 more, because that's three more groups of 10. We can also use our number bond strategy to break these up and add them together. So breaking 45 into tens and ones, adding the tens, adding the ones, there are several different ways in which we can solve these problems. When that is what we are doing for the next, for this whole week, we are just adding within a hundred. Adding within a hundred. So on page 224, so 22 tens and four ones in your succeed book. 22 tens and four ones in your succeed book. Let's go ahead and add some problems together. This is letter A on that page and it reads, 38 plus 40. Let's do this first one by drawing a picture. We're going to draw our quick 10 pictures. So let's first draw 38. 10, 20, 30, 
31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38. Okay? 38. And then what I'm going to actually do is I'm going to put my other part down here. 10, 20, 30, 40. And what I want to do when I'm adding like this, I want to group my tens and then group my ones. How many tens are pictured here? Seven tens. Good. Seven tens. Did I add any additional ones this time? No. No. Seven tens and eight ones. There's no more ones. So 38 plus 40 is equal to 78. Let's do that same thing, but with numbers. We're going to use numbers. So let's have color coding. So we'll use green. How about green? So 38 plus 40. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to break this into tens and ones. I'm going to add my tens. And I'm still going to get four tens plus three tens is seven tens. And eight more is going to still give me 78. So, drawing a picture, using a number bond. Number bond, this time we group the tens. All right, this one reads, letter B, 54 plus 30. Let's just think of this. If I wanted to use the number bond strategy and break one of these parts into tens and ones, which number would I break into tens and ones? 54 or 30? 54, because it's, <laughs> there is a value, there, is a, there are ones present, and there are tens. So let's break it into tens and ones. But what I want to do, I want to put the tens over here, only because it'll make for a neater grouping, because five tens and three tens, what is five tens and three more tens, okay? So five and three is eight. Five bananas and three bananas, eight bananas. Five tens and three tens, eight tens. But what is the value of eight tens? Eighty, the value of eight tens is eighty, good. So we have eighty, Four. 80 and 4 more is 84. Let's check our work using our drawing 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54. 10, 20, 30. All right. Let's group our tens together 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. Now we'll add our ones. 81, 82, 83, 84. Boom. All right, let's keep on rolling. We got this? Make sense? Yeah. You know what I mean? All right, so another strategy. Hmm, let's stick with these two. We'll just do two today. So picture, you could either start with a picture and then try the number one, or try the number one and check your work with the picture. Pictures are great. I like pictures. All right, hey. So this time... This time, we're going to split 46 into six ones and four groups of 10, which has the value of 40. What is four tens plus four tens? Eight tens or 80. And how many ones? How many ones? How many ones are left? Six. We have six. Six one. So what is 46 plus 40? 86. Again, 10, 20, 30, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46. 10, 20, 30, 40. Group together my tens. I've got eight tens, which is 80. And then I have six ones because I didn't add any ones. I didn't take away any ones. I left it alone. And we see that our pit does our do our pictures and our numbers match. Yes, our pictures and numbers match. Good. All right, let's do one more. We're going to do one more, then I'm going to let you try it on your own. 
We'll do one more. This time let's draw the picture first. So 30 is three groups of 10 and 57 is five groups of 10 and seven ones. So we know the process is to put our tens together, our three tens and our five tens together. Five tens and three tens is eight tens. And did I do anything to these ones? Did I add any ones? Did I take away any ones? Did I do anything to these ones? No. So it's 87. So 30 plus 57 is equal to 87. 30 plus 57 is equal to 87. Let's write this out as a number bond problem. 30 plus 57 is equal to, we don't know, but we know that 57 can be broken into 50 and 7. 5 tens value of 50 and 7 ones will group 30 and 50 or 3 tens and 5 tens together to make 8 tens and we still have 7 ones. Did we do this correctly? Yep, this checks out. 30 plus 57 we resolve to equals 87. So it looks like we did a good job. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and... So that's what you're doing today. You're adding. We're adding. That's what we're doing all week. We're adding. Lots of different addition problems. on page 63 in our blue trim flower beds learn book our flower beds our blue trim learn book 63 it's front and back and you're going to do your best complete as much as you can don't stress finishing it 10 minutes of good solid on task paying attention not complaining not in the bathroom trying to get it done work that's what i'm asking for okay so the expectation is that in that time, you can definitely finish the first, the front, and you should be on the back if not done. That is what that looks like. Now, you're going to then, you're going to do that in your book, and then come back to your exit ticket to complete two problems. You're going to use quick tens, which is the drawing, or number bond, <laughs> quick tens, or the number bond strategy to solve these two problems, guys. But that's all I have for you. I'm glad that we're finally adding within 100. I told you it was coming, but it's here. Yay! But all right, guys, that's all I have, and I'll see you later. Bye!